<clears throat> this NFL Week 12 recap and Monday Night Football Props Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, and Arizona. From boosted parlays to in-game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today to receive a $1,000 risk-free sports bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Better Fantasy. Better Fantasy is a new free to play app that lets you sync your fantasy football league and bet on the head to head matchups. Download the app today or just head to betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. That's betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by SoBet. Sign up today to bet against your friends and join the social betting revolution at sobet.io slash SGPN. That's sobet.io slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Check out the new PropSwap.com and use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app, your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. Hey, Sean. All right. What's happening, buddy? Let's let's go. Oh, let's I, go. I, I, let's go. Well, tough guy. Okay. You're, I'm, you're, sorry. You're giants, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Giants. Won. I picked the Steelers as a money line. <laughs> no, I'm we're, sorry. We're I talk- picked the Steelers we're as t- my lock. And we, I'm no sorry. one cares about that. <laughs> I picked we're talking, ben as my we're talking <laughs> Eagles giants. All right, that's what the fans want to hear. Eagles, Giants. You think you're hot shit now because you beat a dog shit garbage team? We turned the ball over four times. We still almost beat your ass. If Jalen Rager knows how to catch a goddamn ball, I, I mean, yes, I'm upset the Eagles lost, but I'm also thrilled knowing that this just builds, this <laughs> extends the Danny Dimes, Joe Judge leash. Longer they're going to be in there. Dave Gettleman, mm-hmm. he's probably circling the building right now, asking for yeah. an extension. So God bless you and your fucking Giants. Enjoy that. That was one of the ugliest. I mean, the Eagles played like dog shit. They deserve to lose. But let's not pretend in any way, shape, or form that the Giants are a good team or played well today. One to know since Jason Garrett was fired. That Thank is you true. very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you were nervous this morning. Shout out to the fans in the YouTube chat, youtube.com. No, because slash it, was, sports gambling it, was, podcast. it was a classic letdown game. They're a young team. They're they have a young coach. It's not an excuse. They played like dog shit in particular, Jalen Hurst's uh, it, it just, you know, rare breed. Uh, it was rare for you to complete it to an actual fucking Eagle Jalen Hurts. So I, I'm still on uh, Team Jalen Hurts. I think it was a horrible game, but I still think the kid has potential. But I, I wouldn't put it on Hurts. Who I mean, would you pe- put it pe- on? People are going to say he couldn't throw the football. <laughs> but uh, I mean, at some point, he you- did a horrible job throwing the football through three interceptions. It's clearly on Jalen Hurts. I mean, that interception uh, before the halftime. Then that yeah, I, I mean all three. Right. Maybe that first interception wasn't his fault because Quez Watkins got held and then stopped running Z- the route. So that's <laughs> somewhat on Quez Watkins, but most of it Z- was on Jalen Hurts. Uh, Defense played okay. Would have liked to see a couple turnovers, but they didn't. I mean, again, we lost the turnover differential by four and would have won the game if Rager catches one of those two balls. Yeah, I, you can play the what if game. I, I think the defense did what they needed to do. What do you do. mean the what if and, game? And, and unfortunately, the Giants' offense. I, you know, I, I was hoping we would be sitting here talking about how the and hold on a second. Sorry. I were I was hoping we would be sitting here today talking about how the uh, offense took care of business on a final drive, unlike the Garrett offense. But they did not. Unfortunately, the defense had to hold, and they did. No, they, they held a lot during that game. They didn't call it, oh, but you're right. Wow. 
You let them play, Sean. No, here's the thing. I'm a fine. Divisional I'm, game again. Let the, them the, play. I'm not. The refs were not. Uh, you asked me how the they were going to stop the, the the Eagles. The yeah. Saints couldn't do it. The, the refs weren't. Well, I mean, it, whatever. The refs <laughs> were not a a major uh, reason the Eagles lost. Again, Jalen Hurts' primary reason. Uh, there's a bunch of secondary reasons. Nate Herbig. Uh, getting a touchdown called back, his holding penalties. I, I'm fine with letting them play, but let's keep it consistent. And that that PI that they called on the Eagles in the end zone that that fell under the let it play. If you're not going to call it on, you know, on that one Rager play, there was a bunch of times they could have called PI if they're calling it tight. And I'm fine. Don't call it tight. Mm. I don't like to see a lot of laundry out there. Me but neither. let's let's let the big ugly smash yeah. up front. Let's do don't it. need to call Nate Herbig for holding twice on mm. the same drive. Once he would have learned his lesson. Let the let the big let the hog Molly sort it out up front. Um, and th- yeah, that PI that the Eagles got called for in the end zone, I thought was a bad call. Uh, I mean, sure, I mean, there were some bad calls each way. Uh, Boston Scott should have held on to the football. I think yeah. Xavier Mc- McKinney clearly had a tell from Jalen Hurts, uh, the, the 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 Bama uh, teammate there. I, no, look, I the wasn't, game, the it wasn't game, a tell. The guy just threw the ball inaccurately. I, 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 well, I mean, I I would say a couple of those he was making a decent play. He was in the right place, right no, time, but he was were, making the, a good he play. Missed, he he threw the ball poorly and uh, missed what Devonta Smith wide open a number of times. Ah, yeah, Brad Bradbury Island was lonely. No, so he lonely. he was there on Bradbury Island, Just, you know, with a fucking umbrella and a drink, waiting for someone ta- to throw the ball. To a and Jalen volleyball. Hurts missed him. <laughs> ah, yeah, I mean, look. At the end of the day, uh, the the team went out there. They got the win, one and zero post Garrett. Can he continue to lean into that? And uh, only a two and a half games back of the division lead. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, betting on sports sure is fun. It's a little more fun when you win, but that's why you have Win Bet, where you can bet big, win bigger. Especially that one thousand dollar risk-free sports bet. You can't mess that up. It's risk-free. They also have a, a deal where new users can bet one dollar. And win one hundred dollars on any sport. That's right, any sport. And they, I win bet has you covered, man. NFL, NBA, NHL, little MMA, college football. They got it all. Live in-game wagering, player props, sweet parlay boost. That is my favorite part of the win betting experience. It's a guy who likes to throw down on some big dog parlays. It's nice to get a little icing on that dog treat. Head over to winbet.com. W Y N N B E T dot C O M. Bet big, win bigger with win bet. All right, let's get to it. Start recapping some of these games. I guess we can also uh, do the Baltimore Cleveland game and then, and then start digging back. Ravens 16 Browns 10. It, mm. It's rare when uh, a quarterback throws four interceptions and isn't the worst quarterback on the field. I, Lamar Jackson <laughs> threw four picks and, yeah. and look noticeably better than Baker. Now I know Baker's hurt, but I mean, Baker is everyone out there is hurt. Sean, well, it's uh, football. I, I mean, Baker is bad. Aaron Rodgers is playing with nine toes. <laughs> Imagine if you're a if you're the Browns management or a Browns fan. Like, it feels like they're in a position where they have to re-sign Baker, and you're gonna <laughs> give know. him like a a big deal. This guy. Now, some of it's injuries, but man, he just does not look like he has it. I mean, the reality is, it, yeah, the 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 deal they're staring at with him is scary. Uh, we told you this that it was okay to to lay more than three with Baltimore because we were fading Baker, and you know you mentioned it, but coming over here, uh, just listening to Ross Tucker on the uh, Sunday night broadcast. Shout out to Westwood One, Sean, but he was uh, Lamar Jackson, mind you, has what four interceptions in this yeah. game. And he's sitting there just lambasting Baker for these <laughs> throws, like, like just a just a bit outside, like on that level. And, and it's just, I mean, at some point, like we saw it with Big Ben today. At some point, you got to take the dude off the field. Like Case Keenum has shown us, he is a. If you're a Browns fan, how are you not throwing stones at Baker's home, trying to get him to run for the hills? I mean, God, what do you, what do, you do? I mean, what do you do with Baker? You have to. 
I, I mean, you can't there. The team around him is too good almost to completely reset at quarterback. Maybe they can. Is this a uh, is this a secret Aaron Rodgers destination? No. What the fuck is Russell Aaron? Wilson? <laughs> no, neither of those guys. I, I can see Russell Wilson. I mean, their offensive line is pretty good. It's a problem with Cleveland. It's not a destination. I mean, no, no offense wow, to right, Cleveland, but that's. That's the, I like Cleveland. That's the problem. That's why I like they've the been Cleveland re, fans rebuilding since. And I feel bad they have to deal with Baker Mayfield. They finally won a playoff game. They finally figured out how to be decent. You got Miles Garrett. You got Kareem Hunt. You got Nick Chubb. You got some players on both sides of the field. Unfortunately, one of them is not the quarterback. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's just he just doesn't have it, man. Mechanics aren't there. No, and I, I think I mean I don't know what the takeaway for Baltimore is because. Uh, they're 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 good, but are they? Uh, the Lamar rushing props are just taking oh, candy from I, a baby. And, and You're they welcome. are they are. I mean, you want to talk about like all these wins they have. They uh, that that Lions win where they needed a 66 yard field goal. That Vikings comeback where it's like, oh man, you were getting your ass kicked at home for a good chunk of the game by the Vikings. Like, they, I I don't know what to make of this. The Ravens other side thing. of that though is that you know they get that that winning muscle. Worked in and close oh. that close game. Clutch Lamar muscle. Has, a, has a large winning muscle. <laughs> I mean, that winning muscle is getting some work right now. Probably, maybe not. They're still in the locker room. Browns going back to Thanksgiving. Browns sixteen, Lions fourteen. You know, uh, fuck off, Matt Nagy. I had a sweet three team <laughs> parlay. Yeah, went, you, Oh, you would have hit too. I would have hit. Went two and one. The Bears was the only. Uh, thing I got wrong on Thanksgiving uh, as far as, as far as these games go. And yeah, gr- didn't Chicago deserve to cover the three? Probably not, but I mean, God, they were, they were getting so close. It was one of those plays where, oh man, they could have broken it off and gotten a touchdown. So many opportunities. Andy Dalton got a win. Andy Dalton looks so excited. He, he did not realize they were playing the lions. Um, uh, we Can't did. We did pick this week. in uh, in our defense. We did uh, pick this thinking, who was the other guy? I was like, Boyle. oh, that Boyle was starting. Although honestly, it would not have changed my pick knowing an injured Jared Goff was playing instead. But uh, where was that in the playoffs when we bet on the Seahawks, Sean? Where was that Jared Goff? He he looked uh, again very Goffian. Um, no. I, I mean, I was impressed on that touchdown throw they had, but I don't know. Not much to take away from here. I remember being very certain in the desert without any sort of internet connection that the the Bears had covered the game. Uh, but of course, this is the worst case scenario for me. They don't cover. I don't get the pick right. I don't win my bet. And Sean, the Bears get a win and make that draft pick worse for the Giants next year. So double fuck you to Matt Nagy. Double fuck you to Matt Nagy. Oh man, love me some Raiders. We got to get our shit going mentally. Almost seemed like they were gonna blow the game again. My uh, brother-in-laws who are, are like 16 years old, they're triplets. Just kept asking me uh, how much, how how much, uh, how many points are you getting with the Raiders? You're getting eight points. Wow, this is so easy. Uh, they really think gambling is easy, especially when I explain to them. Uh, the Deshaun Jackson first touchdown bet came in forty to one. You're welcome, America. Mm. And I mean, there was a chance Raiders were gonna blow this game. It, it was as an Eagles fan, it was a great way. Heartbreaking loss for the Cowboys oh, on Thanksgiving. Hate to, hate to see it. And the 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 streak of the Cowboys, I think it's like one in ten now against the spread on Thanksgiving. They can just not uh, figure it out at all. It was uh, it was pretty awesome. And then and then the the nightcap, Buffalo thirty one, Saints six, all over the Bills. Should have been my Turkey Day lock there. Buffalo yeah. minus six. They, I mean, the Saints just cannot put up points with Trevor Simeon. It's it's not rocket science. And the Bills, it should have been it shouldn't have been this close because. Uh, and Josh Allen threw two interceptions in the red zone. So even with that, they still won by 25 points. Bit of a bloodbath yeah, uh, here. You know, I, I went with the the home uh, home cooking narrative, and it did not go uh, go well. Jo- Saint, Josh Saints likes rough, the cook, man. cooking down there in New Orleans. All right, moving on to well, the rest of the games. Before we get to yeah. the rest of the games, just can we take a caller? Oh yeah, and, and Twitter Spaces is open. Free feel. Feel free to head over to at Gambling Podcast if you're watching, listening live. Hop in, rant, yeah. rave, tout, whatever you got. 
All right, we got a friend of the program, Giants fan, oh, told no. me in this office months ago that I was a fucking asshole <laughs> for getting behind it. Nagels, what's up, brother? Yes, Nagels, you with us? I am with you. Hell what's yeah. up, boys? Hey, what's happening, man? How are we doing? I'm feeling pretty fucking awesome right now. Hell yeah! yeah. I, w- I want to kill myself. Other than that, great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried to tell you this morning in the you pregame did. show. You did. I tried I, to tell you. And I knew you're, it was going to happen. It, it's just to screw me. I knew it was going to happen. Screw <laughs> you at the same time. Yeah, it's it's you know it's coming when uh, the the pessimistic Giants fan is is standing on the soapbox saying they're going to get the W. Now I, I'm taking this as a sign that. I mean, Gettleman, you know, uh, Danny Dimes, they got it all figured out. Joe Judge <laughs> rallying the team. Uh, it, it's great. And, and I, I think they should extend Daniel Jones right now. Are, have you heard anything about that? <laughs> no, my sources are telling me we're still going to win. Uh, we're going to find out maybe uh, Jalen Hurts is due for an extension. Oh, oh wow. Jose. Well, see, the difference is here. Our, <laughs> our management has not bought into the quarterback of 100% where cannot say the same thing about giants and a team, Danny dimes. Where are you at now? Now as a giants fan, you guys going to, you think you're going to run the table, get into the playoffs. What's going on here? I don't, I know Kramer probably <laughs> does. This was a one-off. I know that this is a one-off. As soon as you Eagles fans started looking ahead at the schedule <laughs> and started planning your trip to the Super Bowl, I just and Garrett got fired. It, today was the, like there was no way the Giants were going to lose that game today. <laughs> I saw you. I saw you tweeted out a uh, massive parlay you hit. What did uh, while you're on here? Why don't you tout away? What did you have? Oh, I just hit a nice little uh, five teamer. Oh. 500, 539 bucks. Giants plus four. Dolphins plus one and a half. Bengals minus three and a half, Packers plus two, and thank you, Justin Tucker. Ravens minus three and a half. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> was so home. good. I've been sweating for about eleven hours, <laughs> maybe seventy-two if you go back to Thursday. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a nice uh, capper to the weekend. I want to say one hundred and eighty-eight to one parlay. Eight teams almost came in. No. If those lousy Houston Texans didn't oh, blow no. a fourteen to three wow. to the goddamn Jets, <laughs> one hundred and eighty-eight to one, I had seven out of eight. So we did. Uh, th- we did mention the idea that potentially both Giants team winning again. Uh, what would the odds be on that? And they, Giants and Jets, Jets baby. and Giants parlay came they, through once they again. Win in pairs. Who saw that yeah. coming? <laughs> Just say it one time, Nagels. All rise. Kramer, sit down. Ah, sit love it. Down. All right. Love it was it. one game. Enjoy it. Against the, the Eagles. Beat the, the Let Devils me t- beat the Flyers today. We're happy about that. It was a bad day for Philadelphia. Yeah, that's great. Fun let's fact. just calm down. Then what they score? 14 points today, 13 points. The play calling was horrific. The only one because you got a whole bunch of turnovers. This is not a changing of the guard, We're not making a late run. Oh, it's all man. bullshit. It's all smoke and mirrors. Love it. You need to realize that. Freddie needs a, job Freddie needs a little bit more time in the kitchen to get the offense <laughs> cooking. Only the sixth win for the Giants since we've been doing this fucking podcast. So go really? fuck yourself, Snagel. Say all rise. <laughs> wow, that is an all-time stat. <laughs> Uh, see, yeah, they were, uh, I mean, all right. Anyway, Nagels, great talk. Uh, all <laughs> I right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great show. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Let it ride, bro. All right. Thanks all right, for calling buddy. in. Bye-bye. Give it. Give uh, Nagels a follow on uh, Twitter at Nagels N A G E L S Bagels. Does a cool uh, PGA show as well. He's a Xander Schauffele super fan, as you can tell, as he's mentioned in his uh, bio there. So, <laughs> shout out, shout out to Nagels with the nice. Uh, Dose of reality uh, for you. All right, uh, let's get to some more. We already mentioned. Uh, did I mention Prop Swap, Ryan? You have not. All right. Well, perfect time to mention them. Then we're brought to you by Prop Swap. It's where America goes to buy and sell real sports bets. A lot of like fun futures market. Uh, and again, the the MVP race for the NFL is wild. And I know a bunch of different places have them priced pretty pretty differently. 
Uh, and uh, it's really if you if you're sharp and you're you're getting in on this market, uh, PropSwap.com for NFL MVP. I, I think there's a lot of money to be had over there, and you can buy and sell the the tickets uh, very easily. And the best part is. You don't need your bets to win. You just need the odds to improve and you can cash. Head over to propswap.com. Use that promo code SGP on your first deposit and PropSwap will double it up to $500. PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP. Titans 13, Patriots 36. It's a baby fucking wheel. You know, I, ke- I kept picking against the Patriots thinking this Mac Jones yeah. thing. Again, oh. I am the Mac Jones truther, but uh, thinking it would hit a bump in the road, but they are just a machine covering five against the spread. Tennessee really hitting that wall. And the, the Patriots just look uh, goddamn good right now. And Sean, it really ties into your Kyle Shanahan because you know that it was true that he was going to take Mac Jones. You know it was oh, true, yeah. Yeah. and you know he had to not take it because everyone made fun of him yes. because he was going to take him. I I really think he was going to definitely Kyle Shanahan was going to take Mac Jones. Then they're like, mm, uh, you're ignoring the data. What about the data? Mm, Mac Jones is not um, data friendly. And Kyle Shanahan, you know, started shaking in his boots, and he's like, all right, Trey Lance. I still don't believe. And if this is true. It, it just shows you how insane Kyle Shanahan is and how bad of a coach he is to trade all that capital to move from where's Trey Lance right now. He's he's keeping the bench warm, but I don't understand. Don't you think the, the 49ers could have used a first round pick that was out on the field uh, these past <laughs> weeks. I mean, they, they won against the Vikings. We'll get to that, but don't you think, and, and in the future, don't you think they could use some well, first round picks? I don't, it just makes no sense to trade all that stuff to get, to get to a spot where you go. I don't know who I want. That makes no sense. When the Eagles traded up for Carson Wentz, they knew they traded up because they knew they were going to get Carson Wentz. When the Rams traded up to one, it was because they wanted Jared Goff. Yeah. You, you don't trade all that stuff to be between a couple quarterbacks. That's an obvious lie. Why do, why does the media not press them more so, on that? All right. So what are the rookie rankings? Speaking of the rookie quarterbacks, what are the rookie rankings look like now? Mac Jones, obvious number one. Yeah. Is it then Trevor Lawrence? It, it is. It falls off precipitously. <laughs> it, yeah. Oh, nice work. Is it then Zach Wilson? He looked all right. First Zach, win. Zach Wilson. And I think, uh, I mean Zach Wilson, you know, he he also has some really bad throws. I think Zach Wilson to me is still an interesting prospect. Zach Wilson is the if you like deflated the ball out of the Patrick Mahomes or it's deflated all, the air out of the Patrick Mahomes. It's also Mahomes like ball. not fair to, you know, either uh Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson because they're in such horrible situations. Yeah. Mac Jones. And, and Salah Salah probably like a good defensive coach, but I, I don't think he's helping Zach Wilson get better. Um so yeah, I and and then Justin Fields is in there somewhere, but it, he got injured. So uh, injured. I I think Play the I, I think Trevor music. Lawrence, Zach Wilson. I I would go Trevor Lawrence two, Zach Wilson three, Justin Fields four, and then uh, I, I I don't know who gives a shit after those yeah, guys. After, or Kellen Mond. We'll just say Kellen Kellen Mond. Kyle Trask maybe. Uh, Bernie uh, McBurner in the YouTube chat. <laughs> also great great nickname. Uh, handle there, scam a hand. Oh man, that is that is. Thank you, sir. I'll throw that All on the credit screen. goes to Bernie McBurner, but uh, I'm going to be calling Kyle Scam a hand. Uh, that is just beautiful. I may have to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use it. I, you know why I heard you love it? it? It's a great nickname. You know why you love it? Because it reminds me of Scam Newton. <laughs> it's so great. And oh, it is beautiful. Beautiful. Shout out to Bernie. Great line. Yeah. All right. Any what takeaways it? for the Titans? They did rush for a lot of yards. I felt like a game where they uh, were they the were, data nerds will tell us the regression is coming because Tennessee drove up and down the field and just turned did. it over. They moved the ball up and down the field, and that was kind of you know that was what I was expecting uh, when I when I took them with the points and thought they were a live dog. They just you know completely unraveled in the uh, red area. I call it the green zone, Ryan. Don't don't like to call it the red zone. Negative connotation. Uh, Coughlin, Coughlin was the same call way. The green zone. I'm a football guy. I mean, if you're if you're turning the ball over in the end zone, you're just not going to win games. So no. And, and kudos to the Pats defense. Uh, you know, Belichick's a god. Brady's a fraud. I don't know. Um, they are really rolling through teams. They're they're <laughs> they're. I mean, I don't want to give them the buzzsaw sound effect uh, because I keep picking against it, but. 
Just know, Pats fans, I am picking them every game against the spread from here on out. They're, Pats are in the same way I did switch the gears with the Titans and just started taking them every game until uh, even the AFC Championship where they eventually unraveled. But I went on a nice streak there. And Pats, I'm putting all my juju on there. If I'm if I bring some stink over there, you ask for it, Pats fans. So this yeah. is the life you get. All this keep picking the Patriot, pick, keep, keep picking against the Patriots because they're you're helping them win. That's over. Welcome to the reality. No matter how big the spread, I'm taking the Pats. Let's we, go. We may have underestimated the uh, Tom Brady just won a Super Bowl without Belichick. Belichick, fuck mm. you, revenge tour. That is, seems to be strong, going, go, strong angle going nicely. By the way, Sean, yes. uh, Bills minus three and a half next week. They're favored at home. Oh, I guess against the Patriots. So. Yeah, I mean, let's go. It's a baby fucking wheel. Man. I hate picking against the Bills. Love those Bills. <laughs> Jets twenty-one, Houston fourteen. Admittedly, this was probably one of the early games I watched the least. Uh, super ugly game. You even said to me, Tyrod may be cooked. Ryan, <laughs> are, are we are we completely off the Tyrod bandwagon? This was a tough spot. Uh, I guess this makes sense. You can't take the Houston. The, the te- here's the the P, here's what we missed, Sean. The Texans won last week. The Texans won a game versus the Titans last week, and we didn't we didn't factor that in. And uh, you know Zach Wilson, he he came. He's high variance as fuck. He <laughs> is is going to be a an absolute fun guy to bet on. You can see he's got like a he's like a extremely homeless man's like Josh Allen mixed with. I don't even know. Like, like I said, uh, like a completely deflated Patrick Mahomes. I, I, but well, maybe they maybe they should name the uh, next COVID but vari- I, variant off of Zach Wilson because he's just all over the place. Don't wow. know what you're gonna get. Ooh. Can't can't predict how he it's spreads gonna, the ball gonna, around. Gonna go hide under the <laughs> desk. All this heat coming my way. Yeah, I mean, I I would say this though. Uh, from what I've seen, he at least. Uh, and I'm going to stick with my, with our guy, Joe, Joey T the great Joe Theismann. Remember Sean, uh, you can pick up how to be a champion every day. Yeah. Uh, Available on Amazon, wherever great books are sold. <laughs> I, he does have like, I get the whole, he has it thing. Cause when he makes a really nice play, you're like, Ooh, the problem well, well, is when that- he makes those really bad plays, <laughs> you're like, Ooh, well, remember in the combine, the, uh, or like the uh, Zach Wilson workout video where he's like, Running to his left and then just throws this yeah. crazy, insane pass across his body for a touchdown. He's had a couple uh, of those in the league, and you're like, "Holy shit!" But getting, then again, he is the holy shit quarterback. Where yeah. you're like, "Holy shit, yeah. that was awesome!" And then, "Holy shit, that was horrible, Zach." So again, he's at least shown some spikes what? that I think you can be. Uh, hey, hey, you got a road win as an underdog. Gotta give him credit. Dog. Pop the champagne. <laughs> Tampa. Speaking of road wins, Tampa Bay Bucks thirty-eight, Indianapolis Colts thirty-one. One of my locks. Let's fucking go. I mean, Faden Carson Wentz helping the Eagles draft uh, pick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was great. I just I was so confident that Carson Wentz was going to blow this game. Brady kind of not a great game by Brady. Uh, Two hundred twenty-six yards passing. Through a pick, he, he just didn't look sharp. Leonard Fournette carried the team for the Bucks, seventeen carries, hundred yards, three touchdowns. So uh, that that would have been a sweet DJ's only bet, Leonard Fournette and DFS. That would have been a nice pivot because Brady was the highest price DFS quarterback. Um, pretty interesting there. Went through two picks. I, I think he lost at least one fumble, if not more. And again, that's that's the Carson Wentz experience, right? He. He, I mean, one of those picks was he, kind of as the game ended, but he had some key turnovers. He has these throws that look great, and then he just has these third and seventeen. Sean, great, great example. Third and yes. seventeen, and he is fighting tooth and nail <laughs> to get back to the line of scrimmage, almost fumbling multiple times. Like, yes. dude, just get down. Just, like, be aware. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's dumb as a brick and he has no game awareness because that it really does look like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, we I feel fortunate that we covered this one with the late uh, not field goal that became a touchdown. So uh, look, this Monday night thing is is very real. Teams off of Monday night, Sean, are now fifteen and four ATS. It, it yeah, and I can't make sense of it. <laughs> 
maybe these players, maybe these coaches are doing more harm than good. And I'm just like they're these players brains just can't handle more film study. Man, small sample size. I, I mean, sure. Small sample size. We're in week 13. Now we're going into week 13, Sean. Yeah. Uh, there's something there it's over 80%. Atlanta Falcons, 21 Jags, 14. We were both on the Falcons. <sighs> Again, kind of an ugly who gives a shit game. Matt Ryan just getting it done. Also, not looking great. Uh, shout out to my boy Cordero Patterson. Oh God, he's so damn he's, good. He's just a beast in uh, fantasy. I'm uh, I'm pissed I didn't play him in DFS at all. Season long beast. I, again, not, Jags are just stuck in auto fade. I mean, they. I, I know it's crazy to make Atlanta a road favorite, but I, you know, Jags as only a one point dog Did- in any situation. Urban going to LSU yet? <laughs> it's not that far down the road. Uh, there, there. I also tweeted out a uh, sweet photo of um, they were doing some sort of stunt where they were lowering lowering the uh, Jags uh, mascot. I don't know what his name is, like uh, Jaggy the Jaguar or whatever. And uh, it's hilarious. He's like stuck. He gets stuck being lowered down, and it almost it almost kind of looks like he's uh, being hung from the rafters. It is. Uh, <laughs> it does look like in those like th- you know crazy like war torn countries where they find a someone that they're after and then they <laughs> hang them as like a lesson. It sadly looks like that uh, in this in this still photo. Head over to that gambling podcast, but it's uh, I don't know why I'm just cracking up that it's, uh, like, it's a dark joke. But I mean, God, Jackson, it's, just, it's the Jaguars in a nutshell. Jackson Deville, J A X S O N. That's his name. Oh. And in the first uh, paragraph of the Wikipedia, Jackson is known for his crazy antics, <laughs> controversies. I mean, that is, I, as someone who's worked in uh, television writing before, that is, that is very lazy character backstory. Oh, we got a, we got a mascot. What's, what's he known for? Crazy antics. Yeah, no shit. So is every mascot. Come on, give him a backstory. If he's down in Florida, he probably, you know, dabble with some uh, you know, nose beers, the non decaf edition. I come on, like uh, Florida, there's so many great storylines coming out of the state of Florida. Oh, he bungee jumps, that's kind of his <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, not apparently. You really have to look at the photo. It is it's terrifying if you don't know the context. Well, Sean, he is rarely seen without his motorized scooter and can sometimes <laughs> be seen driving a golf cart. He's very Jacksonville. Wow. No, oh, that is okay. All right. That that feels like strong uh, Jacksonville. You, you want to take another caller, Sean? Sure. Throw right, on. Uh, Brand, we got uh, Brandon Gilden. I think he was on the the pregame show. Oh giving, yeah, maybe giving out a winner. Brandon, uh, what what's good, brother? Dude, not not a great evening. I don't know if you guys remember me. I was the Kenny Galladay hyper oh. earlier in the day. <laughs> yes, well the the Giants won, but the Kenny Galladay hype still uh, still MIA. A couple nice catches. Yeah. yeah, like he had a couple nice catches, but the thing is, there's no Kadarius Tony and Sterling Shepard were both ruled out. I don't understand why he didn't get more looks. Yeah, Ryan, the the Kadarius Tony Eagles news. defensive line, all the credit goes there. I mean, they they did a good job getting to Daniel Jones. I mean, that's the bottom line. And the running game still isn't there. So yeah. Kadarius, I think I think Galladay is going to be a guy who works well off of the play action stuff, and that wasn't there today. So yeah, I mean, shit, we got a lot of Evan Ingram for some reason. Kadarius Tony, what happened? I I was shocked to know here he was a late scratch. I feel like people were putting in him in some like anytime parlays. They, they fit. They were they were good to go. I mean, they figured it was just the Eagles, so they would just oh, rest okay, him up for go. another week. There you go. They didn't right. have a third string quarterback. The third. <laughs> you know. How are how are your other picks? Uh, yo, yeah, today was a terrible day. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, hey, but hey, tomorrow's a brighter day. We're gonna look forward to the future. But one last note on Kenny Galladay with that contract. They got him, and Pro Football Focus has him as one of the best deep threats in the NFL. Yet I never see Daniel Jones throwing a deep to him. It's always to someone else. They need to fix that, and I think the Giants will do well. Yes, I love that. You know, it's coming. That's that's uh that's the second course in the Freddie Kitchens. <laughs> it's cook, uh, cooking it up. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Th- thanks for calling in, Brandon. Let it ride. Let it ride, Brandon. Oh man, Brandon, you know, on the opposite side of me when it comes to the Kenny Galladay prop bet. Sounds like we're going head to head. 
If only there was an app that capitalizes on head to head betting. Wait, there is. It's called SoBet. That's right. SoBet brings the fun of mono e mono gambling. Yeah, and it's, uh, again, very easy to spread the word, send it to your friends, challenge them, throw down. Who can come up with the craziest bets and hit them? It's, uh, again, I mean, the whole part of winning bets. And what sucks about losing bets is talking trash after you win, or in my unfortunate case, lose. So bet again. What's really cool, free to play. It's it's just all about the sweat. It's all about the competition. Social betting revolution is happening. So bet is leading the charge. Just go to so bet dot io slash sgpn. So bet dot io slash sgpn to join the revolution and uh, support the podcast as well. Free to download, free to play. Can't go wrong there. Miami Dolphins thirty three, Carolina Panthers ten, both on the Dolphins. Ryan, you locked it up. How about our boy Tua? Man, just balling out of control. He didn't look horrible. <laughs> no. he, made, he, made, he made some bad plays. <laughs> But most importantly, Sean, <laughs> just my mentions blow up whenever the Dolphins don't, are. Look, he's got 200 passing yards. Let's not bury the lead. We <laughs> we had an opportunity today on this oh, on this great so good on the 28th day of November in the year 2021. Cam Newton, one game removed from being a street free agent, yes. was laying points the, the on Cam the road. Newton hype was so great. We got we got to fade him because I, we've nailed it because we got the. Um, Cam Newton, and it wasn't really even a Cam Newton handicap, but the Panthers outright win against the Cardinals when they're massive dogs, Dang. and then we faded Cam Newton, aka Scam Newton, back to back weeks cashing. Uh, you, Ryan, I remember you saying to me when they put in PJ Walker, "Oh man, this is a bummer. We're not going to be able to bet against <laughs> Cam Newton anymore." Well, I mean, it's look, you want to always win, right? You want to yeah. get paid. But also sometimes you got to let the con go a little bit longer so you can get paid a little bit more. This was the two. Yeah. It happened too fast. Now, what is Matt Rule? Do, what does he do next? What What do they do? I mean, obviously they're, they're drafting a quarterback. They're, maybe they're still in the Deshaun Watson trade market in the off season. Uh, you can't just keep shuffling them through them, right? No, they they their, is their season over. <sighs> Panthers. What are they? Uh, no, because that seventh spot is kind of hanging around. I mean, right now keeps everyone alive, right? Yeah, which is which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and the other thing, Christian McCaffrey again. Fucking not to bring pussy. up, not to bring up my uh, Christian McCaffrey's definitely going to get injured. Uh, <laughs> a take from the from the preseason, and it's really annoying because we're in our high stakes ETH league. Ugh. He's going to cost us this game. I mean, our our entire team shit the bed, but Christian McCaffrey is just such a workhorse. Now, are we going to have to start Chuba Hubbard, who we handcuffed? It is, uh, it's brutal. And PJ Walker came in; he looked bad. But um, I mean, Cam Newton five for twenty one, ninety two yards, two interceptions, and I felt like it looked worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I don't know how he got to 92 well, passing yards. Uh, what was great is they scored that touchdown early and I'm, I'm we're pissed off. Cause he's, he's stealing a touchdown from Christian McCaffrey yep. and he's doing a celebration and he's looking ridiculous with his hair. And then like, it just, he did nothing after that. And what, what were the numbers on the passing yard? Like 92 yards. You said how many of those yards were on that one DJ Moore got wide open. Play? Yeah. No, <laughs> like, it, it, it probably is a lot. Like sixty, I mean, it, all time bad days. It, the Dolphins are a good defense, but come on, man. See what I did there? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ryan, you were asking about the playoffs, uh, updated playoff standings. Uh, no one cares about the top teams, but 49ers are in sixth place at six and five. Vikings seventh seed right now at five and six. However, Falcons also five and six, eight seed. Saints five and six, nine seed. Eagles five and seven. Uh, mm. In the ten spot, and we of course have the head to head against the Saints and the Falcons. Oh, Panthers, nice. a five and seven there at spot eleven, and then a couple of four win teams after that. You're not going down to the the four and seven teams. A Washington football <laughs> team, four and six. They're ahead of the New York Giants, who are four and seven. Chicago <laughs> Bears, four and seven. So you have your your six spots out from the playoffs, mm. but anything could happen, right? A it lot is the of National games left. Football League. A lot of games left. 
We were both on these Steelers here, unfortunately. Wow, what a blood! The thing about being wrong in this game was it was over quickly. I mean, uh, Bengals just beat the shit out of the Steelers, forty-one to ten. They swept the series against the Steelers, and I, you know, I fell for it. I, I thought what we saw against the Chargers was kind of something out of the Steelers. Fell for the Mike Tomlin. Always gets this team going. They're not going to lose to the Bengals twice in the same year. Uh, and shout out to Bengals Nation again, up our ass because uh, we were not high on them coming into the season. But great win and and great to beat uh, I, Steelers twice in one season. Uh, Two thousand nine, the last time they swept them, Sean. Yeah, and they look they look really good. I I don't know something about that Raiders win. I know they kind of took care of business late, but Burrow looked kind of banged up, and I it, it just seemed like an just seemed like a perfect get up spot for the Steelers, but they, uh, they just got their ass kicked. Not much else to say uh, here. Big Ben, no longer good looking, not on team. Good looking <laughs> anymore. Underperformed the spread by more than uh 21 points. So if they're but a dog next week, Ryan, they would be a close your eyes. Special. Bengals schedule the rest of the way. Chargers at home, Niners, Broncos, Ravens, chiefs, Browns. Yeah, not super easy, but no, I feel like a lot of teams in the uh, AFC North, the schedule's pretty tough, and uh, Bengals certainly in the mix there for, to win the division as well. Chargers thirteen, Broncos twenty eight. I liked fading the Broncos coming off a of bye. Teddy Bridgewater gets knocked out of the game, and the Chargers still couldn't get it done. <laughs> what a weird. Game. It was. I, I mean, Drew Locke didn't look good. Threw some bad interceptions. And and still they they took care of business. I mean, Ryan, are we sure? Are no, we sure it, Justin Herbert's it, good? Because he looked pretty bad. I need an insider. I need a Broncos insider to tell me when San Vic San Diego Superchargers. Charge. I need to know when Vic Fangio is going to look like that. Like I, we didn't think about it, right? Brandon Staley, one of his disciples. Yeah. But he was fired the fuck up like he was in the he Cowboys does, he game. Does, he, they do get up for certain spots. Drew Lock four for seven, twenty six yards and a pick in relief of Teddy Bridgewater. Herbert two interceptions. I, yeah, One was for a, a pick a six. That was really the difference in the game. Uh, kind of interesting. Patrick Sertan, uh, senior, the uh, the original. Not uh, he his uh, <laughs> his la- Patrick Sertan. His last pick six was in Denver, oh. and Patrick Sertan the second. His first pick six um, was in uh, Denver. Yeah, it it was his first career help, pick six. I was trying to think of an equivalent of um, so a record me and my dad both have, but it would probably be like throwing up at the same bar or something. I, nice. I don't know. There was trying trying to figure out a similar uh, lineage here. Generations later. I I I just don't know what to make of the Chargers. They're supposed to be good. Justin Herbert had. Looks kind of got looks kind of shitty, man. Again, I just need to know when Vic Fangio is going to be this fired up, and the defense is going to be that. Fi- this was all about that defense uh, getting to getting to Herbert and making him make mistakes, and they don't seem like they needed Von Miller. And it it looks more and more like, I, I mean, to just keep moving forward and playing this kind of defense uh, after getting rid of a guy like Von Miller is is remarkable. Which makes you wonder what kind of guy this was, you know. Chargers hanging on to the uh, seventh seed right now, but uh, there's, I mean, the Broncos are six and five as well. Chargers six and five, Raiders six and five, Colts six and six, Browns six and six, Steelers five five and one. It is, uh, man, the seven team playoff thing is fun because so many teams are alive. Yeah, keeps you interested. 49ers thirty four, Minnesota Vikings twenty six. We are all over the uh, Kirk Cousins would collapse after a big win angle. Love that came through in a big way here. You like that? You like that? And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I watched every almost every minute of this game, and yeah, Minnesota got out to a nice lead early, and then yeah, they just kind of kept uh, kept the 49ers in the game. 49ers were able to move the ball pretty easily against this Vikings defense. This Vikings defense really looks bad at times. Jimmy G, uh, you know, had one really bad pick, but then a couple nice throws. But really, you know, it's just that you know, 49ers run heavy attack. Um, a, you know, Debo Samuel ran for a shit ton of yards. I love their plan. They really of just hate Trey him. Lance. <laughs> I, I mean. 
Yeah, I, I mean, look at look look at the situation. The, Jimmy G is still not good. They're still able to win with him. How are you not putting Trey Lance out there? Is he that bad? Yeah, it's got to be. I, right? I, you know, I don't get it. And wait, uh, they they hate Trey Lance and Trey Sermon. I mean, I don't know what what does Trey Sermon have to do to get out on the field? Like they they need running back help. It's you almost, would think, but uh, Debo Samuel is looking great. Yeah, it's almost like uh, this is what happens when you put the son of a football coach in charge of a football team. Yeah, he treats it like a video game, Sean. It's not working out. And then when you have your GM be John Lynch, scam a hand. Yeah, scam a hand. Well, we need a John Lynch. <laughs> we need a, a John Lynch parody name too. We'll work on that. Rams twenty eight, Green Bay thirty six. Aaron Rodgers defeating Tovid, putting the team on his back. I love the I love the Packers here. I'm pissed, <laughs> kicking myself. I didn't put him in a lock. Got yeah. cute and took the Chargers, but I I put him in everything, and I don't know. Horrible pick, my man. Yeah, you were on the Horrible Rams, pick. Ryan. That was come on. You Horrible know, pick. Aaron Rodgers off a loss, Horrible and Matt pick. Stafford. My Matt Stafford uh, sucks take Horrible. is looking fire right now. It is. I mean, cue the Undertaker gif of my Matt Stafford Th- sucks. Three in a row. Because look, it is just it's coming back to life. You got Odell Curse working on him. Matt Stafford is now nine and seventy against teams with the winning record. That's crazy. He's also the first quarterback with a pick six in three straight games since. Guess the quarterback, Ryan. Sam Bradford. Matt Shaw no. <laughs> did it in four straight games in 2013. You probably this was back when you were in love oh, with the Texans. I don't know. You why. probably you Andre probably Johnson, yeah, baby. you probably had the Texans every week in those four weeks. Um so Stafford, three pick sixes and back to back games in, in three straight games. Aaron Rodgers has thrown three pick sixes in his entire career. Kind of crazy there. And yeah, I mean, his elbows bother him, his back. Again, Stafford isn't the guy. Early regular season, dome stuff, sure. He can chug a beer, but he can't play through an injury. Aaron Rodgers, nine toes, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Can don't, ch- don't, he can chug a peanut. Don't, don't put a light, uh, a light beer uh, brewski in front of him, though. No, it doesn't. No, it goes r- <laughs> Give him a peanut, he'll sip that shit to. Yeah, I thought he'd be all into IPAs. He listens to uh, Rogan. You thought maybe suck he'd be a, a craft beer guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, word on the street, Aaron Rodgers can suck a bowling ball through a straw. <laughs> all right, we're gonna talk about our Monday night football prop bets. <laughs> that is brought to you by Better Fantasy. That's right, Better Fantasy. Oh man, so fun to play. So easy to sync your league to Better Fantasy if you have not done that already. What are you doing? He- uh, you got to do it. it- it's so awesome because they immediately show you betting spreads for your uh, fantasy team. And uh, this is really cool. If you can uh, tell your buddies in your fantasy league, like, Hey guys, let's all sync our, uh, our fantasy league. Everyone syncs their league to better fantasy. Again, it takes like two seconds to sync it. Anyone can do it. Even Colby, not a technology guy. He could sync the better fantasy league. And the best part is if everyone in your league syncs their league, you get $150 uh, gift card to get a sick ass trophy from trophysmack.com. It uh, trophysmack.com, they have a bunch of cool trophies. So if you're lazy, if you don't feel like collecting money for a trophy, but you would like the idea of a trophy, I don't think I've ever actually been in a league that has a trophy. I like that idea. I like that concept. Again, very easy. Just tell everyone to sync your league. It's free. And then you get the 150 gift card from Trophy Smack. Bing, bang, boom. Just head over to betterfantasy.com slash S G P N. That's B E T T O R fantasy.com slash S G P N. All right, Kramer, prop bets. What are we doing? All right. Step one. Let's Tyler Lockett over 22 and a half yards, longest reception. Okay. Uh, just feels like you're just putting a number out there. Because Tyler Lockett goes bigger than that, or he's just going to catch a bunch of eight-yard curls. It seems obvious. I, I the the last time he didn't catch a ball this long was I think over two months ago. So Russell Wilson's coming off back-to-back weeks without throwing a passing touchdown. Are you kidding me? Danger, Russ! One yeah. more time, over one and a half Fuck. passing touchdowns against this against this Washington defense is just so soft. Give it to me. 
Russell Wilson over one and a half passing touchdowns. Uh, and for that reason, because he's going to be gunning over a half ints. That's plus odd, Sean. Plus one fifteen. Yeah, I don't mind that. I I I think you could play both, kind of like hedging, uh, take the over on uh, on both there. But yeah, I, I don't I don't mind that at all. Even as a guy who's still uh, championing uh, Team Russ here, this one's a fun one. Uh, Taylor Heineke longest rush under ten and a half yards. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't I, think he's gonna get loose? It, it, you're basically betting whether or not he gets loose, and I'm saying no. I I I think yeah, no. I I don't think he does. Coming off a six rush, twenty nine yard carry game, like he doesn't. I don't know. There, every once in a while, he'll have a big game rushing, but ten and a half is kind of a lot for a quarterback. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I just don't see it from Heineke. I don't know why, but I was flipping around and I was on the two point conversion page. Ooh, successful two point conversion. What would you think that's priced? Because Plus. Cause I feel like typically I see these, these 250, 280, like yeah. somewhere in that range. 360 for this game. Wow. Oh and I get it, uh, Pete Carroll, older guy, but we got Riverboat Ron. And we have a situation where it's, uh, I'm not going to handicap it. It's way, it, the price is too big. So I'm going to take it successful two is, point conversion plus 360. Are we, does it, is, does Pete Carroll, does he believe in two point conversions, Ryan? He's been searching I, I can for see that him an ex, I can see him being an extra point truther. Like he's he, he's <laughs> unaware they they have the two point conversion option. Oh, you're a math guy, huh? <laughs> I can see him being really anti two point conversion attempts. What do you just mean? I, I like go some, for two to I can cut it to seven. It's a one one score just game. Just seems like something the uh, analytics uh, team wouldn't um, wouldn't be uh, all about, or the analytics team would be all about it, and thereby. <laughs> Pete Carroll would hate it. I I, I think Seattle. I, I think they're able to move the ball. I, I'm I'm still out on this Washington defense. So give me Seattle over two and a half touchdowns. I okay. mean you you could play their team total, but I like their team total. You like, like them just scoring. Their team total is twenty three and a half. I I think they get to twenty one at least with the uh, touchdown. So yeah, give me over two and a half. That's it. We've each given out three. We've given out three. First touchdown. Lay it on me. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett for Ooh. me. Nine to one for Metcalf, ten to one for Lockett. For the for the dead skins, give me Logan Thomas, fourteen to one. Sounds like he's gonna play. I like him to be a big red zone target for Heineke. Taylor Heineke, twenty to one. We love the quarterbacks running it. I just I couldn't play Russ. Not with that finger issue. Nine toes for Aaron Rodgers, no problem. Danger Dude, Russ. Give him the MVP now. We've already forgotten about the, the COVID stuff. It's crazy. About who Aaron Rodgers? The narrative stuff. You're oh, like, you're no right. way, he can't win. No, nah, no, nah. dude, it's over. He can win again. Like, <laughs> you're right. I mean, again, <laughs> two weeks. That's the it. media, the the news cycle is very quick. I mean, I remember <laughs> a time when uh, Antonio Brown had a fake vaccine card. Everyone just forgot when about was that. that. That's because he's still hurt. He's not playing. <laughs> JD McKissick, uh, first touchdown for the Redskins, eighteen to one. Oh, you love that guy. Yeah, I do. DeAndre Carter. 22 to one, three games in a row with a touchdown. He yeah. seems to be kind of uh, emerging here as the guy that's not McLaurin. And 22 to one feels pretty good. And then I'm going to go the uh, Seattle tight end route. Give me Gerald Everett, 22 to one. Will Disley, 30 to one. Ryan, those feel pretty fun. And for my DJ and only prop bet, JD McKissick, three touchdowns, 90 to one. Let's fucking go. All right, I I I, I was I was laughing because I thought you were going to go to the same DGen well as me. Uh, Russ Wilson, mm. three hundred and fifty pass yards and four touchdowns. Sean, what do you think that pays? Twenty eight well, to at one. That. I looked yeah, at let's that. Let's do yes. it. You, I, I understand. You like to go bigger. Yeah, but, ninety uh, to one. Come on. You couldn't see him doing that on Monday Night Football. Danger, Russ. Come mm. on. Well, you got to show up for us one of these times. He's really fucking. I mean, I pulled off the goddamn double stack. Worth nothing, pennies. Nothing. Nothing. All right, we got an exciting week. Uh, we're actually traveling. We're going to be doing. Um, we're doing a conference in beautiful uh, Seed Caucus, New Jersey. So, bear with us on scheduling. Uh, some of the uh, video, uh, some of the YouTube stuff, maybe 
audio only, not video, but of course you can check out all the podcasts. All we're not going to miss any podcasts, but things may get a little wonky here and we might ha- be uh, doing live YouTube. Uh, we will be back in the studio Friday on the West coast, but uh, yeah, doing some East coast stuff. And Ryan, there is um, oh. there uh, the Wednesday night mixer is at MetLife stadium. Oh. They, they, there was a note there on the party that says you can hang out and have fun on the field. <laughs> 47 yard field goal loading. We, I mean, if there's a football there, look out, we're, we're will Ryan. We of course will stream that live. If Ryan has the guts to try and attempt a 47 yard field goal, stay tuned for that possibility. But again, college uh, picks podcast, the DFS picks podcast, the NFL picks podcast, try to squeeze in a college picks podcast as well over there. Oh man. And Sean people for participating in the sports gambling podcast. If they do uh, get sad that they're not seeing uh, the good lookingness of this show on YouTube, they can just go to my Twitter uh, feed at Kramer (laughs) centric. I'll be sure to post some, uh, some selfies. Uh, Maybe, maybe. Yeah. You know, I, I get it. People are now with big Ben dead. They need someone good looking to look at. And uh, that's where they come here. Don't forget to leave a nice uh, rating review for your chance to win free gear every Monday, AKA merch Monday. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. All rise. Kramer, let it ride.